Playing PC games in the 90s was an amazing time. I feel like it was the golden age of computer gaming, for me at least, because that's obviously when I was playing most of my games. In this video, we're gonna be looking at six rally games on the PC that came out from about the mid 90s to the late 90s. Got a whole stack of big boxes here, and we're gonna be playing some. So let's get into it. First up, let's take a peek at Rally Championship. International Rally Championship was released way back in June 1997. Developed by Magnetic Fields and published by Interplay, it is a fun rally racer, a lightweight experience that is more aligned with arcade racing rather than the hardcore off-road rally simulation. With 16 tracks around the world and playable by eight players in a LAN, it was a relatively well-regarded racer upon its release. On my PC, it runs buttery smooth with 3D acceleration, and if you remember back to the time period, these graphics would have been a significant improvement upon the PC's competitors, the PlayStation and the Sega Saturn. However, if we are fair, time has not been kind and the presentation has aged appreciably from the neon purple screens through to the rather simplistic gameplay. It has a race format where you complete laps rather than the standard time stages that we are now accustomed to. But there are aspects that endear it to my heart, including the particularly over the top English co-driver barking out his instructions through to the fun, fast paced arcade racing style. And those boxy old car designs from the back in the mid nineties are an absolute joy to see with my favorite being that chunky, old Skoda. This game is well worth picking up for a quick blast and it's dirt dirt cheap, in particular worth checking out if you've got a voodoo card, though I've yet to try the 3DFX glide patch to see if the difference that makes, one for a future video for sure. Next up, let's have a look at Rally Championship 2000. Mobile One Rally Championship is the sequel and was released in 1999. Again, developed by Magnetic Fields but published by Actualize this time around, this edition in the series of five rally games stretching back from 1988 has significantly improved graphics and I have memories of being absolutely blown away by them when playing the demo. It's a little bit jerky on my TNT2, so I have a GeForce 2 GTS in the post to rectify this. The arcade mode in particular with the other cars on the track brought my system to its knees and made it squeal with pain. On a side note, it's truly fascinating to see how 3D graphics and textures radically evolved in Five, only such a short four, few years. Three, this entry in the series also one, introduces time four. stages instead of laps, but by gosh are they quite long and brutal. There's no replays here to correct mistakes that you make. In fact, that's something that underlies all the games on this list. That particular game mechanic wasn't introduced until the Dirt games in the mid 2000s. Note here is that all the stages are based on the British rally though, so also no globe trotting in this game. As such, this one is definitely closer to being a rally simulator than its predecessors. There's more options to tweak your car setup being available, and the handling differs to a large degree based on the surface and it proves a lovely challenge. In my case, I found the handling sensitivity needed to be significantly adjusted in the options menu to get the car responding how I liked it. I found the car to be a bit too twitchy on the default settings. I still think this is a beautiful rally game from the time period, and if you're a fan of the British rally in particular, then definitely pick this game up. With practice brings satisfaction here. Now on to my absolute personal favorite. Put it in the middle of the pack. It's Colin McRae Rally. Now this is the game which really redefined the rally experience for most people of my generation. It exploded onto the scene in 1998. Developed and published by Codemasters, it has been the foundational game that spawned a huge series of top draw rally simulations. This is one of my absolute favorite games. And frankly, back in 98, I loved how much better this game looked and played over his PlayStation counterpart. It still looks fantastic today and plays so smooth. The physics engine is epic 
and the cars grip the different surfaces uniquely making this game an absolute joy. The feeling of handbrake turning around a gravel hairpin and powering out of the corner with perfect execution is just sublime. The engine and sound effects are truly bang on and keep you thoroughly immersed. This game keeps you coming back for more with both a very fair difficulty level but also with multiple different cars to use as well as multiple global rally events to unlock in the championship mode. I wish that I had experienced the 8 player LAN capability that is included. That would have been amazing to duke it out in the same room as your mates. This game still looks sweet on a CRT at 800 by 600. Nicky Chris pace notes are still perfect and the nostalgia is turned up to 10. Out of all the games here, this and one other I constantly come back to year after year. I can't believe I've been playing this for over 20 years at this point. And RIP Colin, you helped make a absolute classic here. Up next, personal bugbear. I absolutely hate this game so much but I thought I'd put it in there because I'm sure a lot of you played this either on the PC or onto the PlayStation. It's V Rally. Now onto the only game in this part that I dislike and dislike strongly which may go against the grain. I remember being very underwhelmed by this title on the PlayStation back when it was released in 1997. It's developed and published by Infograms, who created the Alone in the Dark franchise, which is one of my favorite series of all time, but I can't give them a pass for this one. In essence, I just can't get over the twitchy handling and it ruins the game for me. The graphics and sounds, they're great on this game for the time period. The frame rate is buttery smooth, but rally games are all about the handling the sensation of being able to control a drift and slide around a corner with grace and style. And I just can't do it on this game. Maybe it's just that I never got the hang of it. I just don't know. It's a decent sized game for the time as well. It's got 45 tracks and different cars and surfaces. It's more of an arcade racer style where you compete against other racers and get into a bit of argy bargy with them as you speed along. The game did critically very well and the series is still alive today with a recent edition or reboot launched on the Switch. But it's just it's just one that is weakest of this bunch. But I know a lot of people out there will strongly disagree with me and so I kept it in this list. I guess it's just a case of different strokes for different folks. This is one that will inevitably stay on my shelf more than it is going to be booted up into the machine. Very close to Colin McRae. I love it on the Saturn. I love it in the arcades. And I do like it for the PC. Shame is not too optimized though. But it's Sega Rally by Sega. So washing away that bitter taste, let's cleanse the palate with my second favorite game in this list. Arguably the top of many games lists of all time greatest arcade rally games. It's the timeless Sega Rally Championship and it was released on the PC in 1997. Wow, what a game and to think it is 25 years old. Can you imagine what an outstanding job Sega did in crafting the perfect blend of hardware and software way back then to make this beast of a game that shifted polygons and colors at you at such a smooth frame rate in the arcades. To be fair, this conversion isn't flawless and still doesn't match up to the arcade perfectly. However, its superlative gameplay still shines through brightly. It's smooth as on this machine and its addictive qualities are not dulled over time. Trying to find the perfect line to shave a fraction of a second off your overall time warrants immense dedication and perseverance. Compared to the other games on this list, it has the least variation of cars, there's only got three, and of tracks, there's only got four, and the opponent's cars always follow the same racing line. But there is just something about the handling that is just weighted absolutely perfectly, and the music is a true joy in a quirky Japanese arcade kind of way. The only thing I don't particularly like about this is the fourth track. It's uh, the secret track and it's 90 degree muddy bends just do my head in. 
Maybe it's just the enduring nostalgia of being blown away by the arcade release, but Sega Rally was always seen as a pinnacle of fun-filled arcade rally racing, and everybody wanted a great home port. And I still love it today, and I'm happy to crank out a few hot laps in my Lancia Delta any time. Now here's another cracker, Sega Rally 2. Came out on the Dreamcast, got it for the PC too. It's quite a nice conversion, but how does it play? The final game in this rally extravaganza is Sega's follow-up, Sega Rally 2, released in 1999. A cracker of a game ported from the arcade and also released on the inflated Dreamcast. This brings more arcade rally racing onto the PC. I love the smooth visuals, I love the high frame rate, I love the feeling of speed, and also the little touches on my car getting caked in mud throughout the race, alongside the feeling of inertia as the weight of the car transfers as you go through all the corners. Sega nailed the handling again, its arcade heritage is on full show, with limited tracks, only seven, and limited cars, only six. And it's also bloody tough in my view, it's pretty tricky to get to the end. As I haven't played this as much as its predecessor, I struggle to get all the way through. Definitely need to put in some practice to get the best lines, and to balance drifting with accurate braking and cornering. I really need to pick up a force feedback wheel specifically to play on this game for sure. I never had this game back in the day, so I'm not loving having it now. I do enjoy playing it, though not quite as much as the original. As a side note, Codemasters made the third Sega Rally game for which I have for the PlayStation 3. That plays somewhat similarly to this one, and I also highly recommend that. If you enjoy quick hits of arcade racing fun with a challenge, then I suggest hunting this one down. It's not too expensive yet. So there you have it, a roundup of six rally games that play on Windows 95 or 98 that I have in my particular collection. There are loads more out there. I feel like from 97 onwards the genre kind of exploded. I'd love to hear in the comments which games are your favourites. If you enjoyed the video, I'd love to hear in the comments which games are your favourite. Now, if you enjoyed the video then consider giving it a like, a dislike if you didn't, and consider subscribing for more vintage PC and game content. Hope to see you in the next one. Have a great week guys.